Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today with a really fun challenge. Now, this is not my challenge. This challenge actually belongs to Mark Crilly. Some of you have heard of him. If you have not heard of him before, I'm gonna put his channel down below in case you guys wanna participate in this challenge because this is something he came up with. It's called the Paper Doll Challenge, and I'll go ahead and put that video down below as well so you guys can go check it out. But I saw him do this challenge, and it's just a, it's a most recent challenge that he came up with on his channel, and I thought it was so super cute. It was an awesome idea, and I was like, I have to get in on this, and I actually told him, well, I just found my Saturday challenge video. So he actually did a chibi character, one of his original characters, he made like a chibi version of that character, and I was thinking, well, what in the world can I make that is my character? Character and that represents me or something so I thought I'm just gonna make a little parrot cuz hey <laughs> why not but th I'm not joking with you guys I have never made paper dolls before so I failed at cutting out my parrots five no 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 four times in a row this was my fifth try that you're seeing right now because I just kept cutting the other like the left side that was connecting them all together and it didn't it took me four tries to finally catch on and see what in the world I was doing but um it's it's a challenge cutting them out that's for sure so I made these little parrots and I actually wanted to make them all the same expression and I thought well that's not fun so I was thinking about like the theater masks you know the masks that are like one's really dramatic and one's super happy so I said oh I'm gonna do different emotions on these little parrots and I wanted to make them different colors so I have to go ahead and say that the end one that I'm going to start on first with coloring in as blue um it was my favorite one and I really love it and I thought well geez I really just want to cut this one off and I want to color it in completely with galaxy tones and you know just totally make it like my new logo or something I just love it I uh, the blue one is by far my favorite just because it looks like me right reminds me of me and blue is my favorite color so I had a I spent a lot more time on the blue one just because I, I found it was my favorite and it seems to be my expression all the time so I guess for fun I could just go ahead and briefly share with you the story on why exactly I am a parrot because the dramatic part of my name where that comes from it's kind of easy because my background and my my career path is in theater theater production so I love being around I don't like being around drama but I like being around drama for the stage but parrot the reason why I call myself a parrot in case I don't know if you ever heard this story before forgive me if you're hearing it again but back in when I was a sophomore in high school uh, there was a guy who overheard me talking and I said that I was a pirate and he looked at me and he went Percy because this is back in high school and Percy was my main nickname so everyone everyone called me Percy so um, and nobody called me Priscilla so he went Percy did you just say you were a parrot and I went, no, Charles, I said I was a pirate. And he goes, no, 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 you are a parrot. And I'm like, no, Charles, I'm a pirate. Don't you dare call me a parrot again. So I resented the fact that he called me a parrot because sooner or later he started to act like Steve Irwin around our high school. And so he would pretend to have a microphone and he had another friend with him that would be his cameraman and he would always come up and he would try to shove imaginary crackers in my face kind of like the sultan and iago from aladdin so i resented being a parrot at first and then it just kind of stuck long story short that is why i am a parrot and put the dramatic and the parrot together and now you've got the reason behind my name. So that is the history behind Dramatic Parrot and what a perfect challenge involving parrots and paper dolls to finally tell you the meaning behind my name. 
But yes, I hope you guys really enjoyed this challenge. If you want to go ahead and participate in this challenge, once again, I'll put the video down below to Mark's tutorial. He teaches you and talks you through making paper dolls. And maybe you won't fail at cutting your dolls about four times like I did. <laughs> but um, which color of parrot is your favorite? And did you ever think that's why I called myself a parrot? I bet you all thought that I had a pet parrot. I wish I had a pet parrot. No, I just have an obese dog. <laughs> but yes, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Leave in the comments down below which color of parrot is your favorite, and I'll talk to you all later. 